Chief. You okay? You playing corpse or you putting the blinds on the dusties? <laughs> I thought you were a debtor for sure.
updated my journal. Dated my journal.
Die. Die.
die. Die. gone.
them hurt. Talk about beating a dead horse. They say that history is the greatest of all teachers, and that tales of past deeds define who we are in the present, and what we shall be in the future. It is said that such tales shall, with each telling, illuminate us all with the light of truth. I shall tell you of such a tale. It is a tale quite familiar to me, for I have spent nearly a lifetime piecing it together and chronicling it here within this book. For years I have pondered its passages, studying every line, committing each word to memory. Perhaps now, in the telling of it, I shall at last find the answers I seek. Our story takes place in the northern region of Faerun, known as Icewind Dale. It is a harsh, frozen land, cut off from the rest of the world by a wall of jagged peaks called the Spine of the World. For centuries, the icy plains of the Dale have been home to the barbarian peoples of the Uthgard and Regedmen. Huddled together in small, closely-knit tribes, the barbarians lived simple lives, free, proud, and fiercely independent. Until the day an archmage named Arakan came to Icewind Dale. With an army of mercenaries, Arakan sought to conquer the north and force the fierce barbarians into slavery. Long weeks of battle followed, and the scattered barbarian tribes suffered terrible losses. Defeat seemed inevitable. In their darkest hour, a barbarian shaman named Jared came forth and demanded a council between all the remaining tribes of the north. A respected warrior, Jared persuaded the council to put aside their differences and unite against Arakan. Strengthened by a new sense of purpose, the barbarians rallied behind their new leader. The combined might of the northmen proved more than a match for Arakan, who had counted on the division of the tribe. Wave after wave of barbarian warriors tore into Arakan's hired army, 
forcing them on the defensive and ultimately into full retreat. As his army crumbled around him, Aragon had time for one last desperate act before his enemies descended upon him. Drawing upon his remaining power, the Archmage breached the planar boundaries, tearing open a portal to the lower plains. The foolish Archmage's cries of victory immediately turned to shrieks of terror as the hideous and twisted shapes of demon kind materialized from the portal and poured onto the battlefield. The sudden appearance of the demons drove the combatants, barbarian and mercenary alike, to turn to meet the new threat side by side. The remaining warriors bravely charged the portal to drive the Hellspawn back and were slaughtered by the hundreds. As his people fell around him, the barbarian shaman, Jared, looked up from the blood-drenched snow of the battlefield and caught sight of a lone figure high upon a ridge in the distance. Jared immediately recognized this vision as an omen from his god, Tempus. And in that instant, he knew what had to be done. Shouting cries to his god, he charged through the ranks of the demons and plunged into the portal. As Jared's blood fused with the energies of the portal, an explosion of white light engulfed the battlefield. When the light subsided, the demons were gone, and the portal was closed. In its place hovered a disk of solid stone. Frozen within the center of the disk was Jared's body, locked in his final moment of agony, in his final moment of triumph for all eternity. But that is not the end of our tale. It is but the beginning. Our tale begins here, in the quiet fishing village of Easthaven, one of the so-called Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. I'm on it.
I'm on it. You ready for me? the butcher's work then. Please, don't let me die. I'm on it. Well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have... sentimental value. Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. I've seen my share of fortune as well, rest assured. I've beheld more treasure than most kings, I'd wager. But it wasn't for coins that I fought and bled all those years. It was for something grander, more powerful than mere riches. Adventuring is something that is in your blood, not in your purse. Indeed. Well then, this might interest you. I'm putting together an expedition of sorts, one which would surely provide opportunities for both fortune and glory. This is the... We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. Uh, Pomab, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Care Dineval is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally I take Pomab's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershire, between East Haven and Caer Dineval. 
Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey.
Agreed. that we must resort to violence. Avenge me. I must insist on receiving some aid. This one's mine. Here. I'm on it. <laughs> to the butcher's work, then. 